Hi everyone, today we will be doing a natural or a nude um, makeup tutorial um, with a bunch of like browns and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to apply your foundation. We will be using the um, CoverGirl Smoothers in Light to Medium. She already has that on, we all know. She doesn't need that, so we're not going to put that on there. And we filmed this like right before this, but my mom walked in, so we're having to do it again. That's why we're skipping over some stuff. And then you apply your CoverGirl um, Compact Foundation, and I'm Mine is in 110. She already has that applied. And then you want to select your blush. Um, I use this really light one right here. And you just, for all that, I use this brush. It's like a blush brush. But I don't like using a small brush for my um, foundation or my compact because it takes too long. So I just use a big blush brush. And then you can get your blush on and put it on your cheeks. Okay, she has all that on, and I'll use this for all that. Okay, moving on to the eyes. You want to prime your eyes, whatever primer you have. I only have the e.l.f. one, because I'm really new to into the makeup world. I don't have all the fancy MAC and all that. That does work really good, though. It's kind of oily. That's the only thing I yeah. don't like. It's kind of oily when you put it on. But you take it out and put it on her eyelid. And then you rub it up to the brow bone. Okay. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to get, okay. I'm going to take this Mary Kay eyeshadow in Honey Spice. I really like this one. I use this almost every day. This is what it looks like. I don't know. And I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush. It's really thin. Okay. And I really like it. It's a really good eyeshadow brush. Now, this one I do not have on. <laughs> okay. And then I just apply it to the brush. And then apply it to the crease. Um, from on the eyelid up to the crease. But don't put it above the crease. Okay. And I do that to the same. Do the same to the other eyelid. And with the primer, this should stay on almost all day. And that's what it... Put your eyes up to the screen. And see the shimmer? That's what it does right here. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. palette that I got for Target for $5. I found one at Walgreens with like 32 eyeshadows in it. From Elf for five dollars, and I got this with six for five dollars. I was so upset, but anyways, I'm going to use this brown up here in the corner, and just put it on the tip of the brush. On the tip, and put it on the crease. Only put it halfway. other people or put it all across the crease I can do other people's makeup better Ooh, that's pretty <laughs> and then I do the same on the other eye And if you want to, you can get um, your e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush or a blending brush that you have and blend that out. I have the e.l.f. I didn't think I was going to be able to find it. The e.l.f. Um, professional blending eye brush. And you can just blend that out. So um, I don't think you need to because it's pretty the way it is. But, you know. Okay. It looks like this. And it, she, you can see the little brown. Okay, and then I'm going to take the e.l.f. palette again and get this white shimmery color. I don't, I'm not sure. It's not really a white, like snow white, but it's kind of like a creamy color. Yeah, a cream color. 
But it's not a cream it's shag. It's like an elf white. Okay. That has a little bit of sparkle into it. And really, when you put it on, it only looks like the shag, the sparkle. Like a shimmer. Okay, and then you're going to apply it and then um, take it up to the brow bone. And then... And be careful because you don't want to get all these pigments all over the face. And then do the same on the other side. And really this, all this is is a little bit of glitter because it's not showing up as white. It just shows up as like glitter. Well it shows up with white. But, you know. It's like... It's kind of like a and little then if, shimmer. If you accidentally get it over the brown and you want to touch the brown back up, because I think it needs to be done, just do the crease again. And if you want to, if you think this brown is too light, then you can do a darker brown, because there's a darker brown right up under it, but I'm not going to use that one. Because I like this brown. Okay, put your eyes up to the <laughs> That's what it looks like. And you can blend it out if you want to. I'm not going to. And I just burnt drop that. Okay, and that's all we're going to do for the eyes. I'm going to take this Clinique mascara. And she's going to do it because I don't want to put mascara on. I'll look sure. at her. I gotta look up <laughs> And this is our mirror. That's why she's doing it. Yeah. Where's your ear with? Oh. Oh. Where's the ear with, Sally? I don't know. Now I kind of like like wiggling a little bit and then lifting it up because it kind of makes your eyes a little bit more curlier. And then whenever I do about three straights. I kind of like lift it up a little bit to give it a little bit of curl. Okay, and for our lips, we're going to take the oh, pink. Do you want mine? Sorbet e um, EOS. No. Mm -hmm. And apply it to her lip. <laughs> okay. And if you want to, you can put a really light pink on there, but. That's yeah, just like, like a frosty. And see, this is a very pretty, very natural. <laughs> you look drunk. Um, <laughs> um, eye makeup and that you could wear to school or any occasion. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can use this one. So, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.